A cockfight is a blood sport between two cocks, or gamecocks, held in a ring called a cockpit. The history of raising fowl for fighting goes back 6,000 years. The first documented use of the word gamecock, denoting use of the cock as to a game, a sport, pastime or entertainment, was recorded in 1634, after the term cock of the game, used by George Wilson, in the earliest known book on the sport of cockfighting in the Commendation of Cocks and Cockfighting in 1607. But it was during Magellan's voyage of discovery of the Philippines in 1521 when modern cockfighting was first witnessed and documented by Antonio Pigafetta, Magellan's chronicler, in the Kingdom of Tete. The combatants, referred to as gamecocks not to be confused with game birds, are specially bred and conditioned for increased stamina and strength. Male and female chickens of such a breed are referred to as game fowl. Cocks possess congenital aggression toward all males of the same species. Wagers are often made on the outcome of the match. Cockfighting is a blood sport due in some part to the physical trauma the cocks inflict on each other, which is sometimes increased by attaching metal spurs to the cocks natural spurs. While not all fights are to the death, the cocks may endure significant physical trauma. In some areas around the world, cockfighting is still practiced as a mainstream event, in some countries it is regulated by law, or forbidden outright. Advocates of the age-old sport often list cultural and religious relevance as reasons for perpetuation of cockfighting as a sport. Process Two owners place their gamecock in the cockpit. The cocks fight until ultimately one of them dies or is critically injured. Historically, this was in a cockpit, a term which was also used in the 16th century to mean a place of entertainment or frenzied activity. William Shakespeare used the term in Henry V to specifically mean the area around the stage of a theater. In Tudor times, the Palace of Westminster had a permanent cockpit, called the cockpit in court. History Cockfighting is an ancient spectator sport. There is evidence that cockfighting was a pastime in the Indus Valley civilization. The Encyclopedia Britannica 2008 holds The sport was popular in ancient times in India, China, Persia, and other eastern countries and was introduced into ancient Greece in the time of Themistocles c. 524-460 BC. For a long time the Romans affected to despise this Greek diversion. But they ended up adopting it so enthusiastically that the agricultural writer Columella first century AD complained that its devotees often spent their whole patrimony in betting at the side of the pit. Based on his analysis of a Mohenjo-daro seal, Iravatham Mahadevan speculates that the city's ancient name could have been Kukatarma, the city RMA of the Cockrell Kakuta. However, according to a recent study, it is not known whether these birds made much contribution to the modern domestic fowl. Chickens from the Harappan culture of the Indus Valley BC may have been the main source of diffusion throughout the world. Within the Indus Valley, indications are that chickens were used for sport and not for food. Zuner 1963 and that by 1000 BC they had assumed religious significance. Some additional insight into the pre-history of European and American secular cockfighting may be taken from the London Encyclopedia. At first cockfighting was partly a religious and partly a political institution at Athens, and was continued for improving the seeds of valour in the minds of their youth, but was afterwards perverted both there and in the other parts of Greece to a common pastime, without any political or religious intention. An early image of a fighting rooster has been found on a 6th century BC seal of Jazaniah from the biblical city of Mizpah in Benjamin, near Jerusalem. Remains of these birds have been found at other Israelite Iron Age sites. When the rooster was used as a fighting bird, they are also pictured on other seals from the period as a symbol of ferocity, such as the late 7th century BC red jasper seal inscribed, Jehoahaz, son of the king, which likely belonged to Jehoahaz of Judah while he was still a prince during his father's life." The anthropologist Clifford Geertz wrote the influential essay Deep Play, Notes on the Balinese Cockfight, on the meaning of the cockfight in Balinese culture. <laughs> <laughs> Regional variations 
In some regional variations, the birds are equipped with either metal spurs called gaffs or knives, tied to the leg in the area where the bird's natural spur has been partially removed. A cockspur is a bracelet often made of leather with a curved, sharp spike which is attached to the leg of the bird. The spikes typically range in length from short spurs of just over an inch to long spurs, almost two and a half inches long. In the highest levels of 17th century English cockfighting, the spikes were made of silver. The sharp spurs have been known to injure or even kill the bird handlers. In the naked heel variation, the bird's natural spurs are left intact and sharpened. Fighting is done without gaffs or taping, particularly in India, especially in Tamil Nadu. There it is mostly fought naked heel and either three rounds of 20 minutes with a gap of again 20 minutes or four rounds of 15 minutes each and a gap of 15 minutes between them. Americas Cuba In Cuba, cockfighting is legal and popular, although gambling on matches has been banned since the 1959 revolution. The state has opened official arenas, including a 1,000-seat venue in Ciego de Avila, but there are also banned underground cockfighting pits. Mexico In Mexico, cockfighting is banned in Mexico City, but is practiced in the Mexican states of Michoacán, Aguascalientes, Jalisco, Sinaloa, and Veracruz, mostly during regional fairs and other celebrations. Cockfights are performed in palenques pits. Cockfighting remains legal in the municipality of Ixmiquilpan. Peru According to the Encyclopedia of Latino Culture, Peru has probably the longest historical tradition with cockfighting, with the practice possibly dating back to the 16th century. Cockfighting is legal and regulated by the government in Peru. Most pits in the country are located in Lima. Brazil. Cockfighting, known in Brazil as Rina de Galos, was banned in 1934 with the help of President Getúlio Vargas through Brazil's 1934 constitution, passed on 16 July. Based on the recognition of animals in the constitution, a Brazilian Supreme Court ruling resulted in the ban of animal-related activities that involve claimed animal suffering such as cockfighting, and a tradition practiced in southern Brazil, known as Fara do Boi the Oxen Festival stating that, "...animals also have the right to legal protection against mistreatment and suffering." <inaudible> Asia Cockfighting is common throughout Southeast Asia, where it is implicated in spreading bird flu. Christianity might shun the belief in spirits, but in Southeast Asia, indigenous interpretations of the veneration of saints and passion plays dominate. In the Christian northern Philippines, respect is accorded the veneration of traditional Anito spirits. Shamans number in the thousands and Catholic priests are powerless to stop cockfighting, a popular form of fertility worship in Southeast Asia. Also in rural northern Thailand a religious ceremony honoring ancestral spirits takes place known as Phan Phii, spirit dance or ghost dance, and includes offerings for ancestors with spirit mediums sword fighting, spirit possessed dancing, and spirit mediums cockfighting in a spiritual cockfight. Topic: <inaudible> India. Cockfighting, Kodi Pandam in Telugu, Kori Kata in Tulu, Vetrakal Savalpur in Tamil, which means. Naked heel cockfight is a favorite sport of people living in the coastal region of Andhra Pradesh, Dakshina Kannada, and Udupi districts of Tulu Nadu region of Karnataka, and the state of Tamil Nadu, India. Three or four inch blades bal in Tulu are attached to the cock's legs. Knockout fights to the death are widely practiced in Andhra Pradesh. In Tamil Nadu, the winner is decided after three or four rounds. People watch with intense interest surrounding the cocks. The sport has gradually become a gambling sport. 
In Jharkhand the cockfighting game is known as Pada and the spurs are called Kunt. Lots of people enjoy the game. The cockpit is called Chod person in the cockpit or who ties the spurs is called Kantkar. In the Tamil Nadu districts of Chennai, Tanjore, Trichy and Salem, only the naked heel variation is permitted. In Erode, Tirupur, Karur and Coimbatore districts, only bloody blade fights are conducted. During festival seasons, this is the major game for men. Women normally don't participate. Only the pure breeds are chosen to the fight. Naked heel cocks fight for long duration compared with blade fight cocks. The cockfight, or more accurately expressed the secular cockfight, is an intense sport, recreation, or pastime to some, while to others, the cockfight remains an ancient religious ritual, a sacred ceremony i.e. a religious and spiritual cockfight associated with the Devasthanam's temples and held at the temple's precincts. In January 2012 at India's Sun God Festival the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP District Committee, demanded that police not interfere in the cockfighting known as Kazi Ketu as it is a part of the temple rituals, while the police replied they would not interfere if the cockfight is held at a temple. Indonesia <inaudible> 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 Cockfighting is a very old tradition in Balinese Hinduism, the Bachur Bang inscriptions I from the year 933 and the Batuan inscription dated 944 on the Balinese Kaka calendar disclose that the Tabu Ra ritual has existed for centuries. In Bali, cockfights, known as Tajan, are practiced in an ancient religious purification ritual to expel evil spirits. This ritual, a form of animal sacrifice, is called Tabu Ra, pouring blood. The purpose of Tabu Ra is to provide an offering the blood of the losing chicken to the evil spirits. Cockfighting is a religious obligation at every Balinese temple festival or religious ceremony. Cockfights without a religious purpose are considered gambling in Indonesia, although it is still largely practiced in many parts of Indonesia. Women are generally not involved in the Tabu Ra process. The Tabu Ra process is held on the largest pavilion in a Balinese temple complex, the Wantalan. The American anthropologist Clifford Geertz published his most famous work, Notes on the Balinese Cockfight, on the practice of cockfights in Bali. In it, he argued that the cockfight served as a pastiche or model of wider Balinese society from which judgments about other aspects of the culture could be drawn. <laughs> Iraq Cockfighting is illegal but widespread in Iraq. The attendees come to gamble or just for the entertainment. A rooster can cost up to $8,000. The most prized birds are called hurati, which means that they are of Turkish or Indian origin, and have muscular legs and necks. <laughs> <laughs> Japan Cockfighting was introduced to Japan from China in the early 8th century and rose to popularity in the Kamakura period and the Edo period. Cockfighting endured in some Japanese regions even after being banned in 1873 during the Meiji period. Topic: <laughs> Pakistan. Cockfighting is a popular sport in rural Pakistan. However, Betting is illegal under the Prevention of Gambling Act 1977. Betting is illegal, but police often turn a blind eye towards it. In Sindh, one of four major provinces of Pakistan, people are fond of keeping fighting cock breed, known as Sindhi Asil in Pakistan. These cocks are noted being tall, heavy and good at fighting. Another popular breed is called Mianwali Asil. In Sindh gambler or calf tea uses almond and other power-enhancing medicines to feed the fighter cocks. <inaudible> Philippines Cockfighting, locally termed sabong, is a popular pastime in the Philippines, where both illegal and legal cockfights occur. Legal cockfights are held in cockpits every week, whilst illegal ones, called tupada or tigbake, are held in secluded cockpits where authorities cannot raid them. In both types, knives or gaffs are used. There are two kinds of knives used in Philippine cockfighting, single-edged blades used in derbies and double-edged blades, lengths of knives also vary. All knives are attached on the left leg of the bird, but depending on agreement between owners, blades can be attached on the right or even on both legs. 
Sabong and illegal tupada, are judged by a referee called sentenciador or coim, whose verdict is final and not subject to any appeal. Bets are usually taken by the Cristo, so named because of his outstretched hands when calling out wagers from the audience and skillfully doing so purely from memory. The country has hosted several World Slasher Cup derbies, held biannually at the Smart Araneta Coliseum, Quezon City, where the world's leading game foul breeders gather. World Slasher Cup is also known as the Olympics of Cockfighting. The World Game Foul Expo 2014 was held in the World Trade Center Metro Manila. Cockfighting was already flourishing in pre-colonial Philippines, as recorded by Antonio Pigafetta, the Italian diarist aboard Ferdinand Magellan's 1521 expedition. Cockfighting in the Philippines is derived from the fact that it shares elements of Indian and other Southeast Asian cultures, where the jungle fowl and oriental type of chicken are endemic. Other bird species Male saffron finches and canaries have been used in fights on occasion. Legal status Americas Costa Rica Cockfights have been illegal in Costa Rica since 1922. The government deems the activity as animal cruelty, public disorder and a risk for public health and is routinely repressed by the state's National Secretary for Animal Welfare. The activity is also rejected by most of the population as 88% of Costa Ricans dislike cockfights according to recent polls of the National University. Since 2017 the activity is punishable with up to two years of prison. Cuba Cockfighting was so common during the Cuban colonization by Spain, that there were arenas in every urban and rural town. The first official known document about cockfighting in Cuba dates from 1737. It is a royal decree asking, to the governor of the island, a report about the inconveniences that might cause cockfights, with the people from land and sea, and asking for information about rentals of the games. The Spaniard Miguel Tacón, lieutenant general and governor of the colony, banned cockfighting by a decree dated on October 20, 1835, limiting these spectacles only to holidays. In 1844 a decree dictated by the captain general of the island, S. Leopoldo O'Donnell, forbade to non-white people the attendance to these shows. During the second half of the 19th century many authorizations were conceded for building arenas, until General S. Juan Rios Rivera, then civilian governor in Havana, prohibited cockfighting by a decree of October 31, 1899, and later the Cuban governor, General Leonard Wood, dictated the military order No. 165 prohibiting cockfights in the whole country since June 1, 1900. In the first half of the 20th century, legality of cockfights suffered several ups and downs. In 1909 the then Cuban president José Miguel Gómez, with the intention to gain followers, allowed cockfights once again, and then regulations were agreed for the fights. Up to beginnings of 1968 cockfights used to be held everywhere in the country, but with the purpose of stopping the bets, the arenas were closed and the fights forbidden by the authorities. In 1980 authorities legalized cockfights again and a state business organization was created with the participation of the private breeders, grouped in territories. Every year the state organization announces several national tournaments from January to April, makes trade shows and sells fighting cocks to clients from other Caribbean countries. <laughs> Dominican Republic In the Dominican Republic, cockfighting is both legal and very popular. There is at least one arena Galera in every town whereas in bigger cities larger colisios can be found. Important fights are broadcast on television and newspapers have dedicated pages to cock fights and the different trabas, the local name for gamefowl breeding grounds. Those dedicated to the breeding and training of fighting cocks are called galleros or traberos. The cocks are often outfitted with special spurs made from various materials ranging from plastic to metal or even carry shell and fights are typically to the death. 
public perception of the sport is as normal as that of baseball or any other major sport. United States In the United States, cockfighting is now illegal in all 50 U.S. states and the District of Columbia. The last state to implement a state law banning cockfighting was Louisiana. The Louisiana State Legislature voted to approve a ban in June 2007, which went into effect in August 2008. As of 2013, cockfighting is a felony in 40 states and the District of Columbia. The possession of birds for fighting is prohibited in 39 states and the District of Columbia. Being a spectator at a cockfight is prohibited in 43 states and the District of Columbia. The possession of cockfighting implements is prohibited in 15 states. Additionally, the 2014 Farm Bill, signed into law by President Obama, contained a provision making it a federal crime to attend an animal fighting event or bring a child under the age of 16 to an animal fighting event. Cockfighting remains legal in the United States territories of Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Virgin Islands. Legislation introduced in Congress the Parity in Animal Cruelty Enforcement Pace Act would bar animal fighting in the territories, but has not been enacted. In Puerto Rico, cockfighting is popular and is considered a national sport. According to a National Park Service report, it generates about $100 million annually. There are some 200,000 fighting birds annually on the island. Puerto Rico's Cockfighting Commission regulates 87 clubs, but many non government sanctioned underground cockfighting operations exist. The Animal Fighting Prohibition Enforcement Act, a federal law that made it a federal crime to transfer cockfighting implements across state or national borders and increasing the penalty for violations of federal animal fighting laws to three years in prison, became law in 2007. It passed the House of Representatives 368-39 and the Senate by unanimous consent and was signed into law by President George W. Bush. The Animal Welfare Act was amended again in 2008 when provisions were included in the 2008 Farm Bill PL 110-246. These provisions tighten prohibitions on dog and other animal fighting activities, and increase penalties for violation of the Act. Major law enforcement raids against cockfighting occurred in February 2014 in New York State when 3,000 birds were seized and nine men were charged with felony animal fighting in Operation Angry Birds, the state's largest ever cockfighting bust, and in May 2017 in California when the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department seized 7,000 cockfighting birds at a ranch in Val Verde, California. California, one of the largest cockfighting busts in U.S. history. In 2014, Princess Irina of Romania pleaded guilty in federal court to operating a cockfighting ring in Oregon. Asia India The Supreme Court of India has banned cockfighting as a violation of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act, but it remains popular, especially in the rural coast of Andhra Pradesh, with large amount of betting involved, especially around the festival of Sankranti. <laughs> Philippines There is no nationwide ban of cockfighting in the Philippines but since 1948, cockfighting is prohibited every Rizal day on December 30 where violators can be fined or imprisoned due to the Republic Act No. 229, Indonesia. All forms of gambling, including the gambling within secular cockfighting, were made illegal in 1981 by the Indonesian government, while the religious aspects of cockfighting within Balinese Hinduism remain protected. However, secular cockfighting remains widely popular in Bali, despite its illegal status. Australia Cockfighting, and the possession of cockfighting equipment, is illegal in Australia. Europe France 
Holding cockfights is a crime in France, but there is an exemption under subparagraph 3 of Article 521-1 of the French Penal Code for cockfights and bullfights in locales where an uninterrupted tradition exists for them. Thus, cockfighting is allowed in the Nord-Pas-de-Calais region, where it takes place in a small number of towns including Rainbow Court, La Bistade and other villages around Lille. However, the construction of new cockfighting areas is prohibited, a law upheld by the Constitutional Council of France in 2015. Cockfighting is also legal in some French overseas territories. Topic: <laughs> Spain. Cockfighting is banned in Spain except in two Spanish regions, the Canary Islands and Andalusia. Spain's Animal Protection Law of 1991 recognizes an exception for these regions based on cultural heritage and a history of cockfighting in the region. Animal rights organizations have sought to ban the bloodsport nationwide, but have not been successful in advancing legislation through the Spanish Parliament. <laughs> United Kingdom Cockfighting was banned outright in England and Wales and in the British Overseas Territories with the Cruelty to Animals Act 1835. Sixty years later, in 1895, cockfighting was also banned in Scotland, where it had been relatively common in the 18th century. A reconstructed cockpit from Denby in North Wales may be found at St Fagan's National History Museum in Cardiff and a reference exists in 1774 to a cockpit at Stancastle in Scotland. According to a 2007 report by the RSPCA, cockfighting in England and Wales was still taking place but had declined in recent years. Topic: <laughs> New Zealand The act of cockfighting is illegal under the Animal Welfare Act 1999, as is the possession, training and breeding of cocks for fighting. In popular culture Cockfighting has inspired artists in several fields to create works which depict the activity. Several organizations, including the University of South Carolina, Jacksonville State University in Jacksonville, Alabama, and London football team Tottenham Hotspur FC have a Gamecock as their mascot. The University of Delaware's mascot, the Blue Hen, was named for a blue strain of American Gamecock. The students' section at University of Delaware football games is called the Cockpit. Topic. In music. Cockfighting has also been mentioned in songs such as Kings of Leon's Four Kicks and Bob Dylan's song Cry a While from the album Love and Theft. The story song El Gallo del Cielo by Tom Russell is entirely about cockfighting, and the lyrics utilize detailed imagery of fighting pits, gamecocks, and gambling on the outcome of the fights. Cockfighting has also been in Korean boy band EXO's music video for Lotto. Topic in visual arts The painting The Cockfight 1846, an academic exercise of the French painter Jean-Léon Jérôme, vainqueur au combat de Coques 1864, bronze statue from the French sculptor Alexander Falguier and the painting Cockfight 1882, from the Flemish painter Émile Claus are samples of the presence of cockfighting in visual arts. The expressionist painter Sir Robin Philipson, of Edinburgh, was well known for his series of works that included depictions of cockfighting. The 1930 cartoon Mexico shows Oswald the Lucky Rabbit challenging a bear in a cockfight. The 1938 cartoon Honduras Hurricane features the pirate John Silver forcing Captain Katzajammer into a rigged cockfight. Other cartoon depictions portray humanized roosters treating cockfights like boxing matches. These cartoons include Disney's Cock o' the Walk, 1936, MGM's Little Bantamweight, 1938, and Walter Lance's The Bongo Punch. 1958. Live action films that include scenes of the sport include the 1964 Mexican film El Gallo de Oro, the 1965 film The Cincinnati Kid, and the 1974 film Cockfighter, directed by Monty Hellman, based on the novel of the same name by Charles Wilford. The 1990 film No Fear, No Die centers around two men who are part of an illegal cockfighting ring. Cockfighting is depicted twice in the 2011 film The Rum Diary. 
The Spike TV show 1000 Ways to Die features a death involving a cockfight, where a man who bets on a rooster attaches razors to its claws to ensure its winning, but is slashed to death himself. In the Seinfeld episode The Little Jerry, Kramer enters his rooster into a cockfight in order to get one of Jerry's bounced checks removed from a local bodega where the cockfights actually take place. In the HBO series Eastbound and Down, Kenny Powers moves to Mexico and is in the cockfighting business until his cock Big Red dies. The 2011 Tamil film Adakalam revolves around the practice of cockfighting in Madurai, Tamil Nadu. In the FX Network's police drama, The Shield episode titled Two Days of Blood Season No. 1, Episode No. 12, Detective Shane Vendrell and Detective Kurt Lemansky go undercover in a cockfighting event to track down an illegal arms smuggler. In literature Nathaniel West's 1939 novel The Day of the Locust includes a detailed and graphic cockfighting scene, as does the Alex Haley novel Roots, the saga of an American family and the miniseries based on it. In literature, a description of a border town cockfight fiesta can be found in On the Border, Portraits of America's Southwestern Frontier. Charles Wilford wrote a novel, Cockfighter, which gives a detailed account of the protagonist's life as a cocker. Abraham Valdelamar's 1918 tale El Caballero Carmelo depicts a cockfight between the protagonist, a cock named Carmelo, and his rival Agiseco from a child's perspective, who considered this bird as an heroic member of his family. In martial arts The term, human cockfighting, was used by United States Senator John McCain to describe mixed martial arts, which at the time he was campaigning to ban. Topic in video games The video game Law & Order, Legacies uses a cockfight as a plot point. With a man having died because of a rooster with a spur had slashed him, but with a twist that he would have survived if his wife had called the police. Square Enix's video game Sleeping Dogs allows the player character to spectate and bet on various virtual cockfights based around the game's rendition of the city of Hong Kong. See also Dog fighting Dubbing poultry, Illegal sports Insect fighting Ram fighting Shamo chicken <laughs>